Hi everyone, it's Christina from the DIYMommy.com and today I want to show you how I reupholstered our dinette cushions in our DIY camper. Welcome back to my channel again. Today I am standing in our shop behind our house and we have our trailer parked in here because there's been some storms and stuff. We wanted to make sure that it was protected while we finished it up. But I managed to film a couple exciting things while it was outside in the sunshine. The first thing I filmed was our reupholstered dinette cushions. And I'm gonna show you today how I did those. It was actually pretty simple. You need minimal sewing skills and pretty much just a staple gun. And then the second thing I filmed was the reveal of our DIY camper's kitchen with the painted cabinet and that tutorial. And I'm gonna share that one next. So today I'm excited to show you just a little sneak peek of our kitchen plus how to recover dinette cushions in an RV or camper. Let's get started. Here is what our camper dinette cushions looked like before. They're early 90s cushions. The fabric is kind of gross and I think that tuck looks quite dated. So I wanted to reupholster them and make them look new and smooth. So to do this, just turn your cushion to the back and take some needle nosed pliers. There's also special staple removing tools, but I find these work just as well. And just start pulling all those staples out. So in this case, I did have a ton of staples to pull out. So this was kind of a long process, so I just enjoyed it on our patio outside. Once the staples are pulled off the back cover, you can just remove that, pull out any excess staples, and then you can just slide that front cover off. If it has a tuck like mine does, you're going to have to remove both pieces of the foam inside. And then I just found where the middle of the cover was attached to the plywood and just pulled some more staples with my needle nose pliers to get the rest of that fabric off. And then you can just throw that old fabric away. I was surprised at how much dust was in that little crack and that was one reason why I don't want that anymore. And then I just covered both of the pieces of foam with some upholstery batting. And that's just gonna give my cushion a more smooth appearance so I don't have that crack showing beneath my new fabric. Cut that to size. You could consider gluing the two pieces of foam together in the middle, like if you have pieces like I do. I didn't, I just put them together tightly and put the batting over top. Then measure the length and the width of your cushion as well as the depth of your cushion. Next, to get some upholstery fabric, I decided to use indoor-outdoor upholstery fabric just so that it would wear the best with all the kids and pets in the camper. And then you're going to mark a piece of fabric that is going to be the length of your cushion plus the depth times two. And then you're going to add an extra hole four inches just so that you have some give and then you're going to measure the other way, the width of the cushion plus the depth times two and add another four inches. I just used a ruler and then a straight edge to make sure that everything was nice and rectangular for my fabric. Then just use some fabric scissors and cut out your shape. Next, you're going to measure for little darts in the corners to make that fabric fit really nicely over top of your foam. So my corners ended up being six inches by six inches. I'm making a six inch by six inch square. Really, you just wanna make sure that the middle of your fabric measures the length and the width of the top of your cushion. Next, you're gonna fold those darts in half like this to make a triangle. And then you're going to sew on the line that you marked. So I'm using a regular sewing machine with a long stitch, making sort of back stitch at the end. And I went over this seam two times to make sure that these stayed in place. Next, trim off any excess fabric you have on the corners, on all four corners of your piece of fabric. And that's gonna create some nice fitted corners. Grab your piece of foam with the batting on top and then fit this piece of fabric right over top of everything and it should fit nice and snug over your foam and the batting. Flip the whole piece over after you've done this. 
and then you're just going to use a staple gun to staple the bottom of the fabric to the bottom of your dinette cushion. So ours has just some plywood here. So I'm just using this staple gun, it's an electric staple gun, you could also just use a manual one and pulling the fabric tight, stapling, then pulling the opposite side tight and stapling and just kind of continuing along in this way as you go using opposite sides just like this to make sure the fabric is nice and tight and even. You can use quite a bit of staples to make sure that you don't have any ripples or gaps in your upholstery. For the corners, I just pulled them really tight and kind of gathered carefully as I went. And this creates a nice smooth corner when you flip your cushion back the right way. So just pull really tight and gather slightly as you go really evenly along the corner of your dinette cushion. Once this is stapled really well, I just used the old backing on my cushions and put it stapled it back on. If you wanted to create a new backing from some nice slippery fabric, you could, but my old one was actually in pretty good shape. So I just spread this smoothly on the back of my cushion and stapled that in place. And then once you're finished that, you are done the cushion and I had four to do, so I did four exactly the same. And this is how they look now. I'm really happy with how modern and clean lined and smooth these look. I like this kind of grayish color and I like how they look with these bluey kind of boho cushions. Here's the nice fitted corners and I think it's just a nice sleek modern look and I think this indoor outdoor fabric is going to last us a long time. Here's a tiny, tiny sneak peek of the kitchen. You can see it on the right and I can't wait to show this to you guys. Thank you so much for watching my video today. I hope you found that tutorial helpful if you are renovating an old camper or RV this summer. Let me know in the comments below what you thought of this tutorial and please like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel to be the first to hear of my new DIY and decor ideas. Bye!